and welcome, I'm your Code King. So do you hate waiting for a compilation to finish? Do you want to speed up development by a pretty massive amount? Or do you want to save 300 bucks every month? If so, then I really recommend you pick up Hot Reload. Which by the way, this one is currently 50% off during Black Friday for a few more days. Now I just started using this asset for the first time in the past few months, and I must say it very quickly became one of my new favorites. It is so easy to use, you literally just enable it and that's it, your compilation is suddenly much faster. The fact that it's so easy to use and the benefits are pretty immense, that is a pretty amazing thing. Here let me showcase what exactly does it do and how you can get started using it. First, like name implies, this allows you to basically hot reload your code, meaning it allows you to patch changes to your code exactly as it's running. Let's see that benefit in a super quick demo. For example, I recently made a factory automation game for a game jam. So this is my mining machine and it's mining crystals at this speed, so that's great. But now let's say I want to try gathering these crystals quite a bit faster. Right now I am not using hot reload. So I go into the code. In this case, I'm going to modify the timer max to something like 0.1 to make it really fast. So now I save the code and I go back into Unity. I need to exit play mode. Now I need to wait for the compilation to happen. So I've got to wait for about five, 10 seconds. In this case, it's a pretty small project and I've got a pretty basic PC, but still it takes about 10 seconds. Now I go ahead, enter play mode. So I got to wait for a little bit again. Now I got to go through the main menu. I got to set up my testing once again. So let me spawn a mining machine, the belt, place it, connect it. And there you go, yep, now I can verify, yep, there you go, now the mining machine is mining much faster. So yep, this whole process took, what is it, something like 60 seconds? So now let's do that exact same demo again, but now using Hot Reload. So here I am looking at my mining machine using all defaults, yep, same as previously. Now I'm just going to go into the code and do the exact same thing, so timer max equals 0.1f. And now I'm going to save the code and look at Unity just to see how fast it actually compiles these changes. So here it is, I'm going to press Ctrl S right now. And look at that, it's fetching change. There you go, it is already done. So that's it, it is basically instant. As soon as I save the code, it applied those changes and now everything is playing. I didn't have to exit play mode. I didn't have to do a recompilation. I didn't have to do any of that. I didn't have to set up the whole test again. I really just modified the code, saved it, and over here, everything changed. So if that's really insane, this is definitely one of those assets where the benefits are immediately clear. In large projects, that compilation time can take anywhere from like 20 seconds to several minutes. So being able to cut that down by 90%, that is a massive difference. And like you saw, the fact that you can actually recompile code without having to exit play mode and go back, that is a massive, massive benefit for iteration. You can just keep playing your game, keep iterating on all of your values without ever exiting and going back into play mode. Here's the literally 60 second getting started guide. You really just open up the package manager. Then you just find hot reload and import the package. There it is, it's importing. Then out pops off this window. You really just fill in the size of your company. Then to verify your license, you really just input the invoice number ID. That is the one that you receive in your email, as well as your email. And you just redeem it. And that's it, then it's all set up. It's ready to be activated. So then you just click on start. And in doing so, this will basically trigger a full recompilation cycle. And that's it, now it's done. It is waiting for code changes. And this one actually contains a nice timeline that shows all the changes as they are being patched. So here is my mining machine mining a bunch of red crystals. And I can go in the code and over here I can modify something. So in this case, let's make it quite a bit slower. Let's put it on 0.5. I'm going to save it and look over there on the timeline. As I save, it's reloading. There you go, reload finished. It finished this function, the void time miner update, which if there it is, I'm on the time miner class and I've got the update function. And right there, the time to mine is already updated. So I can modify this into something, put it really slow, it updates. There you go. Now it is taking quite a bit of time between each mining crystal, put it really tiny. And there you go, now it mines quite a bit faster. So you have this really awesome, like I said, the benefits are super clear. You can make all kinds of code changes and the compilation happens pretty much instantly. And of course, if you get a compile error, this one also helps you. So if I get rid of the semicolon, obviously this is a compile error. If I now save and I go back, there you go, I've got a nice compile error. So it is saying that script over there is missing a comma. So yep, I gotta go there. Then over here, let me add the nice semicolon, save again, and there you go, automatically changes, no changes applied, and just like that. So you have this really awesome. Now this one does have a handful of limitations. Thankfully, there are not too many. Over there on the FAQ, you can actually see the support features and you can see how it supports basically anything. So editing functions, mono behaviors, normal classes. Yep, that works, special keywords, async await, lambda, getter setters. Yep, it supports basically all of these changes and things that they do not handle currently are these. So adding new class or structs, editing running async functions and adding C-sharp files. So for example, over here, if I were to create a brand new one over here script, new script, if there you go, I free the script and over there, I can see an unsupported change. So if this file is not part of any project. So if I want this one to be included in the build over here, I really do need to stop playing. Then now it's actually going to see that our unsupported changes. Now it's going to trigger the normal recompilation process. Another thing is adding new serialized fields. So for example, over here on my min menu UI script, I'm going to add another serialized field for some kind of test button and I'm going to save the code. And over here back in the editor, yep, there you go, hot reload fields. As you can see, that one is not accessible so I can't drag anything on there. So it does recognize that something changed in the code, but this one is not editable until I add it into play mode or recompile. 
So yeah, very simple over here, just trigger the recompile button, and there you go, that is going to trigger recompilation. So pretty much a normal process, and now, yep, there you go, now that one is usable. And then sometimes, for some strange reason, it didn't patch the changes. I'm not entirely sure when that happens, but as I was making my game jam on the live stream, it happened about one or two times. Which, considering how I spent about 40 hours making this game one or two times, isn't really much of an issue. But still, it did happen. Basically, I would modify the code and it wouldn't actually recognize and patch those changes. Now, I don't really remember when exactly that happened, so I can't really tell developers when it happened so they can try to fix it. But thankfully, the good news is there's a very easy fix. Whenever that happened, I really just triggered a full recompilation and everything worked fine. So those are just a few minor things, but for the most part, it supports pretty much all kinds of changes. So like I said, this is one of my new all-time favorite assets from the asset store. It is so easy to use and the benefits are immense. You can see how I use it all the time in making my game jam game, which obviously when you have 48 hours to make a game, iteration speed definitely matters quite a lot. So it was definitely quite helpful to have this tool that both works very well and works very easily. Literally just import it, just enable it, and that's it. You just do that and everything is faster by default. So I definitely highly recommend you get this asset, especially with the current Black Friday 50% discount. With that, it is definitely a no-brainer. Based on the pretty reasonable math that they made and how this can save every developer 300 bucks every single month, based on that, it is easily worth spending 30 bucks to get the asset. So yep, I highly recommend it. And if you're interested, check the link in the description to get it. The Black Friday sale is only lasting for a few more days, so definitely get it quickly. And of course, that link is in the film link, so if you pick it up through there, you get a really awesome asset and I get a nice commission. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.